Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have today is a kit I just recently painted and built. Uh, it is the Cross Silhouette Zeta Gundam. Now I went ahead and decided to paint this in the Zeta 3 colors. Um, the only downside is I do not have any of the, um, the Zeta 3 decals. I, I looked all over, I looked in Tokyo, I looked in Hiroshima, I looked all around uh, Iwakuni. Could not find these decals, and I did find them on eBay, but the seller uh, does not actually send to my address in Japan, so I'm a little bit screwed on uh, trying to find some uh, water slide decals unless I get like the uh, P Bandai uh, real grade Zeta 3 Gundam, um, but I I'm not going to spend all that money on a Zeta 3, you know, real grade just to get the water slides, and then now that real grade is pretty much screw it out of water slides but you know it is what it is i still enjoy uh the colors and um you know with, with the the kit you know seeing in front of you right now you can probably instantly tell there's, there's definitely a couple of mistakes i made on this kit uh some major mistakes in fact so i will definitely address those uh but first i want to go ahead and uh, show you exactly the colors i used Okay, so from Gaia Notes, I actually use this premium uh, silver chrome, you know, paint. Uh, overall, this is a really, really nice color if you want to get a chrome, uh, basically a chrome little finish. Now, I did put this over a semi-gloss black, but I think I should have went with a, like a, a, a true gloss black uh, just to go ahead and highlight the colors a little bit more because what was used for this was basically on these purple parts, well, pink parts, all scattered around as well as the green in the eyes so there is a little bit of reflective in these colors uh, almost a metallic look but yeah I went ahead and just used this uh, pretty much over a semi gloss black for those parts next I use mr. colors clear pink uh, now this is the GX edition I don't really know what the uh, the whole point of the GX series is but it looks really good it looked much better than a normal uh, clear uh, pink that I've seen in the stores so I went ahead and went with that and that is what these pink parts are for uh, all these little bits all over and next I use mr. hobbies clear green now this was primarily used for the eyes and that was pretty much about it nothing else was used uh, for green on the kit and next I use the Gundam colors for builders uh, blue basically blue anime color now I did use this for the scope on the rifles uh, the camera right there and the camera on the back and that was it and next was red matter uh, so I use this pretty much just for some of the small parts uh, the one that is underneath the form right there and then I also used it for the rifle and uh, yeah that was pretty much it for uh, the red on the kit and next was Mr. Color GX Chiara Yellow. Uh, this was used for all the little yellow bits. Now, uh, the yellow up here, I actually, I used a, uh, um, I think I used a gray primer. Uh, if not, then I used a white primer, but I'm pretty sure I used gray uh, just because I wasn't thinking. But for like the V-Fem, uh, this bit right here, and then these little, um, the vents, that was all primed in an airbrush. Now, the yellow all here, which I will show you in closer detail, but all yellow, on the side of the feet and the uh, the shoulder pads that was all hand painted and next we have Tamiya's lacquer paint gun metal so this was basically used for all the inner frame as well as the rifle itself and next we have mr. hobby's flat black uh, this was used just for some small bar uh, parts around the kit so parts uh, pretty much around the eyes is all black uh, parts on the like the inside of these vents inside of right there on the you know the yellow right there uh, this part of the um, the rifle and on the backpack is just basically used with this um, the only thing that was airbrush was the one the, the little piece that goes around the eyes uh, but everything else is all hand brushed and next you have Gundam colors for builders uh, basically white for um, you know like the anime version white uh, it's a little bit darker than your normal white uh, when I looked at it it was it's more a, of a it's almost grayish looking, uh, but all the white is basically like for the head, the little face plate, um, you know, the front skirts, the legs. That's all the primary white. Um, so you can definitely tell the difference between uh, the the gray, which I'm about to show, and then this white. But regardless, it's still white. It, it looks, I think, it looks pretty good, and I do like the the darker look because I don't know. To me, it contrasts uh, contrasts as well uh, with the pink. So. That's pretty much why I went with it, and I just wanted to go ahead and try because I did pick it up just because of how unique it is. I mean, uh, Gundam Colors for Builders is just a very unique type of uh, brand, 
So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and try it and just see how well it works. And actually it worked very, very well. So this is something I definitely uh, recommend to anyone who is uh, looking to try maybe like paint some of their Gundams in a more anime color fashion. And you're not like gonna mix your colors. You just wanna go ahead and straight up, um, you know, mix it with some uh, thinner and then you're good to go. And last but not least is Mr. Hobby Light Gull Gray. Uh, so this is all the gray parts and this is actually a lot darker to me than what I was originally thinking. So I don't know, I, I, when I saw the, the word light, I was like, okay, it shouldn't be too much darker than the, uh, the white that I'm painting, but yeah, it came out much darker than I anticipated. Uh, but I, I actually did use gray um, primer for this because I was wanting the white to be uh, a little bit darker tone. But yeah, I, th I think it came out really well on, on you know my end. Uh, the only thing I probably would have changed, I think the only, the only couple of things I might have changed was, or would have been, maybe change the shoulders to white. I think that's the biggest thing I was thinking about was like, okay, the, the chest being gray is completely fine. Uh, the front plate right here, I was actually gonna make this gray and this white and then make this pink. But there's so many different types of Zeta 3s out there that I've seen that I, I just kind of wanted the pink to be more in the torso than right here in the waist. And I didn't want both parts to be uh, pink. So I was, like, I was like, this looks pretty good. So I'm very happy with the overall uh, outcome. And it came out pretty glossy. Um, so the whole entire kit, I've already you know glossed it up. But yeah, this came out a little bit more glossy than uh, expected. Okay, so we're just taking a, a little bit more of a close up look. Uh, so like I mentioned, I use chrome for the eyes and I use a, uh, a clear green. So I think, I think that came out pretty well. Um, no mistakes in the head for the most part. I think the head came out uh, as well as it you know would have. Maybe I could have placed a couple more decals, but I, I don't know. I just don't like I don't like the whole Verka look of like just destroying your kit with a, a bunch of like decals, especially the SDs. Um, so I went ahead and just went with a more subtle approach. But yeah, for the most part, the head does look pretty decent, at least uh, in, in my humble opinion. Okay, so we're looking at the body. Uh, the first biggest like you know mistake I made. Uh, pretty much right here uh, for some reason the red just bled into the paint when I was hand painting it uh, And I tried you know cleaning up as much as I can But you can kind of still see the hint of of red tint and then I went ahead and like tried to hand paint some of it over And that just didn't work and you know I, I didn't really know of a way to like or a solution to go ahead and fix that so um, I tried to do as much as I could, you know, try and use a little bit of uh, thin, you know, coats of the same color. Uh, it just wasn't working, and I was like, you know what, like, it's not, it wasn't as bad if you look at it from a distance, but yeah, definitely up close, it's, it's very, very much noticeable. Um, other than that, I mean, the body is pretty nice, I didn't do too many decals on there, so, uh, yeah, overall, looks pretty good. And looking at the waist, the waist is very simple, nothing really too uh, crazy. I also did some yellow in the back. Uh, the only thing that I could probably do better is maybe my uh, the steadiness of my hand when I was painting the, the black. Other than that, you know, the back skirt was all fine. Front skirt is pretty good too. Okay, so we're looking at the legs. Uh, the legs, there's a couple of things I do regret that I should have done more of. I should have masked the kneecaps. I mean, there's a lot of parts I should have masked, but uh, just to kind of add a little bit more color, I should have masked these kneecaps and then uh, painted this gray on the kneecaps. I, I don't know, like, I think that would have came out much better, but I was too lazy and I just decided not to do it. Um, most of this kit was pretty much built in one day. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and just, you know, just push through it and, you know, I I'll learn from my mistakes. And the yellow did come out pretty well. Uh, some parts are a little bit thicker, not the entire thing, but like, just certain parts that comes off a little bit more thick than um, the normal. But overall, I, I try to do as many thin um, thin brushes as I possibly can, and then panel line the outside, you know, pretty much just to give it a little bit more depth. But yeah, I think it looked pretty decent overall. And then I used uh, basically that same chrome color to go ahead and hand paint uh, the little thrusters right behind here. I was gonna paint the inside of it red, but I was like, you know what, just leave it, you know, chrome, just because I didn't want to mess up anything else. And now with the arms, uh, overall the, the arms don't have any problems with them whatsoever. Uh, what I should have done was uh, mass, I should have done a couple of things. First I should have stand, sanded this down. I just, I really didn't pay attention, I didn't realize until it was too late. Uh, but yeah, that big old lawn right there, I should have went ahead and sanded that down. And I also should have masked around here and then painted this white. Uh, but hey, you know, it's kind of is what it is. 
you know that that's why I'm, I'm keeping this the way it is uh, because I do want this to be a uh, a lesson learned and in, uh, in the future moving forward I'm definitely going to be uh, take a little bit more precaution and taking my time with these kits so yeah uh, overall should have went ahead and sanded that down uh, you know pretty much um, masked it painted white would have been pretty fine and uh, painted the inside black up inside there the yellow uh, didn't come out too bad right here on the shoulder pads and then just kind of looking at the weapons since we're already right here uh, pretty simple I didn't do anything extra really except for paint the the red paint blue right there um, paint some red right here and then uh, also some black right here on the top of the rifle if we can focus so yeah just painting some black red blue red a couple of decals very very simplistic and then the shield um, basically is your pink right here that gray and then just a little decal right there all right so now we're moving on to my biggest mistake uh, so I went ahead this is these are all black parts right all this is black so I I primed it all gray that, that I just thought hey gray shouldn't be too bad um, because I didn't want to change the main color right here so I was like okay I'll just prime it all gray paint paint the entire thing right here uh, even this was uh, was gray so the whole thing was gray right so uh, I, I, I hand painted these parts chrome because I've seen it I seen that chrome that exact chrome being used as, as hand paint so I'm like okay that shouldn't be too bad because I've seen someone do it and it came out very smooth so I went ahead and thinned it and you know I, I just put thin strokes the chrome itself was completely fine I had no problems with the chrome it was very smooth it had even um, surface coverage it was completely fine so this is the side I worked on first right I went ahead and I thinned out that clear uh, pink. I thinned it out fairly well. I think almost, it wasn't like watery, but it was like, it, it was a little bit thicker than like water. Um, not like cream, but I don't, I don't know really how to say it. Like it was a little bit just thicker. So I went ahead and I started, I think right up here. This is when I, I first started. And as soon as I put like my little small brush, I, it was like, it was a brush that's probably almost the width of this piece itself like this little um, coverage as soon as it touched and I swiped down not with any pressure I swiped down it just stripped everything underneath it till it went to the black part right there I have no idea what, what went wrong um, even to, to this day like I tried looking up some information I don't really know um, I mean it was lacquer I, I didn't think it had any you know issues but yeah, so that's why it looks kind of thick because I, I I tried thinning it and then just you know doing more coverages and it pulled up a little bit. And at first I was like, okay, I'll just go ahead and strip this one side and then just redo this. Like I was gonna mask all this, have this completely bare black plastic, mask all of this, and then spray paint it. But I decided, you know what, let's push through. I can definitely still make this as good as I can. And then I'm gonna make sure that I always remember this to, to not do this ever again. So um, I'll be sure to mask and then just you know airbrush the uh, the paint because yeah I, I can't be making those kind of mistakes anymore. Especially if like in the future if I open up like um, if I get good enough for one. But if I open up um, what do you call it commissions, then I definitely don't want, don't want to be making mistakes on other people's uh, dimes. So. Yeah, uh, but that's that's pretty much about it. I was thinking about painting the inside of right here black, but I just left it as is. Um, this is fine. Nothing really too bad. This is the same same issue. Um, definitely is still thick, uh, and I, I went outside the lines uh, quite often. So, yeah, but that was my biggest issue. Uh, other than that, like you're really never gonna look at it from the back. You're always gonna look at it from the front. So, uh, you know, I'm still happy with the overall outcome. All right, so not much else I can say. Uh, I already kind of did my entire review of the kit. I just want to go over uh, the paint job. So uh, I love I love the cross silhouette kits, like just all of them. Um, the only kit so far that I've seen that is getting released that I'm just super not excited about is the Freedom Gundam. I'm just, I like the Freedom Gundam, don't get me wrong, but the cross silhouette form to me just does not look that good. Um, so that, that may or may not be in my radar. I think I might skip that for right now until I finish all the uh, the current cross silhouettes that are out. But um, yeah, ultimately my main goal is I, every single cross silhouette kit that ever comes out, I'm I'm going to paint them. That's just 
I don't know. I don't know why I made that uh, goal for myself, but uh, yeah, every single one I will be painting. Uh, right now, it's a toss-up between... I, I still have the original RX-78-2, which I'm going to do in a cast of all colors. That's that's a guarantee. Uh, the next one is going to be the Crossbone uh, X1, which I haven't decided what colors. If I'm going to go with any colors, it might be the, uh, the X2, just straight up black. If not... I really don't know. I, I I don't know if I'm just gonna stick with the original color scheme and just you know paint it. Uh, but yeah, it's either between just the regular X1 color scheme or the X2. Uh, then I do have the Zaku 2, so that is 100% going to be a Shars Zaku 2. I don't care. I I, I just really want my Shars 2 fix because I, I think it's pretty badass. Um, and then the other one I just recently picked up is the uh, the Double O Build Diver. So that one's actually going to be a Trans Am color scheme. Uh, so out of those four kits, definitely let me know in the comments below which ones y'all want to see me build next. Uh, more likely, I'm going to paint those in November sometime, maybe the end of November. If not, then it'll be December because uh, right after this kit, I'm actually painting the... Um, the Sinanju Stein. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that right now after this uh, review is up. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for the Sinanju Stein. Okay guys, so before I log off, I definitely want to let you all know that I'm very appreciative of all the new subscribers that have recently joined to my channel and my community. And I also wanna extend the thanks to all the ones that have stayed with me since the beginning or you know, in any time that you have actually subscribed to the channel and just stayed true to you know watching my content and as well as being involved in the, uh, the discussion Discussions and you know the overall community so definitely appreciate all of you for that um, one big thing I wanted to sh you know showcase with this kit is that um, I'm not perfect when it comes to the you know painting process and I have a lot to learn um, and to kind of you know tie this in uh, I hear a lot of you wanting tutorial videos and trust me I really would love to just do tutorial videos maybe like once a week or you know once every two weeks just do a small little thing um, but I think a lot of the thing a lot of the techniques I utilize right now is very um, improper I, th I think it's very uh, almost elementary to be to be honest so I'm trying to go ahead and shift my techniques to a, a little bit more of a streamlined professional style uh, so that way when I do get to the point in my in my channel that I can go ahead and start you know dropping tutorial videos it's something that's actually going to carry some merit and even some of the top builders can go ahead and be like oh yeah like I would I would definitely support uh, this technique or hey I'll vouch for this is definitely a good route to go ahead and you know execute this painting technique um, so on and so forth so before I actually don't do these uh, tutorial videos um, you know let me go ahead and work myself uh, I'm, I don't know how much longer it's going to be because I'm still practicing constantly and the airbrush that I have is very very cheap uh, it's like a hundred dollar airbrush so I don't really have like a firm grasp of you know what the PSI, uh, PSI should be at or you know certain like different techniques when it comes to airbrush system so let me just work on myself uh, maybe eventually start uh, getting some better equipment and then I will, I will definitely put out some tutorial videos for you guys whether it's as small as like Gundam markers or you know proper panel line techniques or washes airbrushing whatever you want I would definitely go ahead and put it out there just um, maybe be a little bit more patient for me and in the meantime uh, definitely go to other YouTube channels uh, that do showcase these techniques uh, I, I would say go to a channel that it's an actual like painted builder don't don't go to someone who's a straight builder to be honest not to say anything bad about them but if they're just gonna show you some you know panel lining techniques and that's it I would say definitely go to someone who's more experienced when it comes to washes um, so I, I watch a lot of different guys uh, more people that are probably in the scale modeling than what they are in a gunpla uh, and that's where I learned a lot of my techniques so I'm gonna keep on practicing uh, but in the meantime guys definitely thank you for watching and as always please like comment subscribe uh, let me know what you think about the kit whether it's good criticism you know bad criticism or you know whatever kind of feedback you can give i'm always appreciative of it and i i want to work on myself uh so definitely um you know your your comments in the comment section do help and go a long way but that's it for me guys thank you for watching and i will see you later Bye bye